Jack Lew is uh, one of uh, President Obama's uh, most trusted advisors. In fact, he is the chief of staff right now, and he was the head of the Office of Management and Budget uh, before that. And it appears he's going to be nominated for Treasury Secretary to replace Tim Geithner. Now, there's some good news and some bad news. So, first piece of excellent news is that that means Tim Geithner is leaving. He'll be leaving by the end of the month. The worst Treasury Secretary we've had. One of the worst cabinet members of my lifetime. Uh, he not only supported the banks in every way possible, but when he went to go support actual homeowners, according to Neil Borofsky, who was a special inspector general of the TARP program that worked with Geithner, he said the whole point for Tim Geithner of helping the banks, according to Tim Geithner himself, was to foam the runway for the banks. So he wasn't looking to help the homeowners, he was looking to help the banks by giving some money to the homeowners they could transfer over to the banks. That's the only reason he ever helped them, and it was a minuscule amount of help compared to the billions and trillions they gave to the bankers. So thank God Tim Geithner is leaving. Now Jack Lew, well look, some Republicans are objecting to Jack Lew, but they object to everyone. They object to Hagel for Secretary of Defense, and Hagel's a Republican, right? Now they don't like Jack Lew because they think he was a stickler during some of the budget negotiations. Okay, but hey look, that's a slight thing in his favor, and I have read accounts where Jack Lew explained to them the reality of what those budget cuts would mean, and they were really annoyed by having to deal with the practical effects of their budget cuts. So that's score one for him, and he stuck to his positions better than the other Obama negotiators did. That's why the Republicans didn't want him in the room. So that's pretty good. Okay, now the bad news. So who is Jack Lew? Well, Jack Lew's uh, been in government service uh, for 30 years. He also worked at OMB uh, in the uh, Clinton years, that sounds pretty good, he's been a lifelong Democrat, uh, but then when you see what he did when he was not in government, it's not quite as positive. First, a simple story out of NYU, he went over there um, to bust the union. Now, uh, in private universities, there actually were, wasn't very many uh, collective bargaining among graduate students. Now, in public universities, different. You know, I don't want to get into the whole story for you guys, but the bottom line is NYU, while Jack Lew was there, wound up having a union for a brief period of time. During the Clinton administration, they allowed it, and during the Bush administration, they cracked down against it. But he went as the chief operating officer. Now, his only job wasn't to crack down the unions, but while he was there, that is what he did. And uh, the people who were uh, protesting actually had Jack Lew's picture in their protest signs, and they said, want it. Okay, so it wasn't like he was a tangential player, he was the main guy that was trying to bust their union. Of course, now the Treasury Department says, oh no, Jack Lew, just like the President, selects collective bargaining rights for everybody, except for the union he busted. By the way, uh, part of the way that he busted it, along with other executives at NYU, was he threatened uh, to stop uh, employing the international students, which would mean that their visa would expire and they would be deported from the country. Then. 20 of the picketers were fired, and others were talked to by the supervisor, etc., until they finally broke, and they gave in, and he, and he did, in fact, wipe uh, the union off the face of NYU. Now, you might say, okay, well, you know, that's what these guys do, these, and maybe he had good reasons, it was costing NYU too much money. If it was the only thing, I'd say, okay, I understand. No. Then he went to Citigroup. I remember Citigroup was one of the banks that crashed, of course. They had to take $45 billion in American taxpayer bailouts. Now, he was in charge of the Citigroup Wealth Management Group. Apparently, they didn't manage the wealth very well at all uh, because they, along with other banks, crashed. Now, did that mean that Jack Lew was not going to get compensated? <laughs> go, 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 go. So his salary was $1.1 million. And by the way, his group did proprietary trading. That's where you do the trading for the bank. That's usually the department that got people in most trouble in most banks. Now, to be fair, at Citigroup, Jack Lew did make a smart investment. He bet against the housing market, you know, the housing market that collapsed. So, now some people will use that against him and say when the housing market collapsed, Jack Lew made more money. And Citigroup made more money, at, at least in that particular area. I think it's a, you know, that's true. But to be fair, he made a smart investment, right? <laughs> if you bet against the housing market, you were going to win. But overall, Citigroup collapsed anyway, along with the other banks, because they had so much toxic mortgages, et cetera, et cetera. So since they collapsed uh, and they got the bailout, obviously uh, Jack Lew was not going to get uh, any kind of bonus as he was leaving, right? 
You know how this story ends, right? A nearly million dollar bonus after they got a taxpayer bailout. What's the bonus about? You guys are $45 billion in the hole. Why do you get a billion dollar, I'm sorry, a million dollar bonus for that? And you might say, hey, Jack Lou's department did well, et cetera. Look, Jesus' department here, he's the director of the show, could do fantastic. If we go bankrupt, he doesn't get a bonus because we don't have any money. But <laughs> that's not how it functions in Wall Street. They're like, who cares? Tell the government to print more money and give it to us. And then he leaves Citigroup and goes over to the government, where he advocates for the banks getting more money. I didn't see that coming. And in fact, during his confirmation for his original post at the Office of Management and Budget, and remember, this is what Bush would have called uh, Obama's budget man. So he's the top budget director, right? So they ask him, hey, how about the deregulation of the banks? Didn't that cause some of the problems? And get a load of his answer. Watch this. Uh, my, my sense is, as someone who has you know, generally been familiar with these trends, is that the, the problems in the financial industry preceded uh, deregulation. I don't believe that deregulation was the, 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 the an, you know, proximate cause. Are you kidding me? You don't think the deregulation led to the collapse? You know the part where we said, hey, you know what, you can do unlimited gambling, we won't have any cap on leverage anymore? That happened in 2004 under Bush. So in the past you had to have if you're going to make ten dollars worth of bets, you had to have like at least a dollar in the bank. Where we now we said, ah, go ahead, make thirty dollars worth of bets, forty dollars worth of bets, however many bets you want to make based on the dollar you have in the bank. That wildly irresponsible action that didn't lead to the problems that Citigroup and other banks had. No, no, no one in their right mind could possibly believe that. And I can give you a dozen deregulatory actions that were devastating and definitely the proximate cause of the collapse. Look, if he believes that, he is so grossly incompetent, he should have never have any position in uh, government, let alone the head of the, uh, the budget process, let alone chief of staff, and certainly not the treasury secretary, right? Now, if he doesn't believe it, well, then he's disingenuous and thinks, who cares, man, I got paid millions of dollars because of that deregulation and collapsed economy. That's not my problem, that's your problem. Either way, it should be a disqualifier. But of course, that's not how Washington works. They view that as a positive thing. So they're like, oh, look at this guy. Oh, what a wonderful record at Citigroup. And so uh, will he be confirmed as Treasury Secretary? You betcha. The Republicans will raise some stink about, oh, we don't like him for this or that. But it'll be just playing around. Because overall, Jack Lew is going to do the same thing that Tim Geithner did. He's going to jack us of our money and deliver it as much as he possibly can to the bankers. So spare me about, oh, a lifelong progressive. Unless, of course, it comes to robbing the middle class and handing the money to the banks.